<tøk> ja. Det slottet, eller vad det nu heter för nåt där borta. Ehm. Det är er fängsle i Mexiko. Där han mexikanern ska ta av ja. Han ska ta av ett land då. Så att han blir den nya presidenten i Mexiko. <tøk> Ja, det finns snick snickskyttevåpen på den här tiden. Ska det upp? Ja. Okej. Okay. Speciell väg. Som jag finner nu. Ah, då kommer jag ut. Um, um. Okej, okay. här bort det faktiskt. Var det svange jeg løp forbi nå? Eller? Ja, skal si. Jeg skulle skjønne hesten. Det høres veldig smart ut. Jeg skjørte hesten min hit kort. Ja. <tøk> veldig logisk. Hmm. my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but if you hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, 
I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an <clears throat> orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Ah, I said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra <clears throat> hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Oh, da er det et fett hvem av dem jeg tar, da. Right, are you ready to learn how to herd some cows? Come on! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Will you herd these cows or not? <clears throat> Hva kan vi gjøre med? Nei. Hallo. Og de sier at serveflokken sunner veldig når de skal gå. Dette er jo kuflokk til og med. Hva kan vi gjøre med? Ja! Er det som å kjøre lastebil, eller? Nei, ikke egentlig. Nei, nei. Ikke tull med meg. Enda flere ku. Åh, nei. Ai, ai, ai. Hva blir her, du? Det som jeg fikk 
av skinn og sånt, det skal jeg selge om det. Blomst? Nei. Ja. Coyote. Coyote. Ikke Toyota, men Coyote. Ok. Sånt er nok ikke det. Sånn. Som sagt. Summen, det står jo på lappen. På denne ulven så står det 10 dollar. En dollar på den blomsten, det er ikke den så verdifull nok da, så kan selges. Samme med deg. Jeg pleier å være nøy på det, at det skal være over 5 dollar, eller så har jeg ikke sett så veldig lyst til å selge det. For da er den ikke veldig nok. Hvor var nå den hesten? Hei! She's back! Åh, nei. Nei. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws. Then we had drought. Then we had smallpox. Terrible winters. Cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men winter and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is it? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> Eh, 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 eh. Jeg tappte imot en dame. Og han sier at jeg er flink. Nå kommer lassoen inn i bildet nå. Hehehe. 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 Ja vel, skal jeg teste den? Sånn. Sånn, jeg. Jeg har ikke vennet lasso på lang tid nå, jeg. 
He hauled it. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. Ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. Mm -hmm. Ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. Hey, for sick thing. Shelby ain't even left you. You got a horse. Jeg vil ikke ta på igjen, ass. Og kom igjen, da. Hei, 